make sure we can be even more prepared, take advantage of this warmer weather time, and, and also okay. recognize that it's not over just because the numbers start to decrease. Understood. Okay, so let's talk about where we are then in the first cycle, because we're, we're still very much in it. Uh, Governor Cuomo uh, said yesterday that the rate of infections, at least in New York State, not slowing yet. Do, do, do we see, do we know where we are on that curve that we talk about and the curve that we're trying to flatten? And is there evidence that the social distancing that everybody is, or many people are doing, is having an effect? Yeah, I, you know, I think that there's some early evidence that the social distancing is having an effect. The metaphor that I always use, Jim, is kind of like a, a huge ship going through the water. You make these changes and it takes a while to actually see the ship start to respond to that. It's not, you know, sort of instantaneous. Um, I think I think the point that Dr. Fauci is making, and by the way, I have to say that he's very responsive. I text with him all the time. I've known him for 20 years. He's very responsive on this stuff. The point is that he says the virus sets the timetable. And what he means is that we're looking at the curve right now. We see the curve uh, for the United States, which it's updated almost every hour nowadays. But the problem is we don't know where we are on that curve exactly. Where are we? Is that is that going to really peak in a couple, three weeks, as some have suggested, or are we in the earlier part of that curve? We don't know. In New York, uh, as you mentioned, Jim, it could be that we are starting to see some evidence uh, of, of the curve, you know, of the peak uh, happening in two to three weeks. Hello, hello, hello. I'm so glad to be back on Coffee with Jada. This is my first um, video since um, forever. So, um, I obviously, Corona, we got time now. Hmm? So first, I just wanted to say um, two things, um, that this shirt is my shirt, and it is me, just in case you're seeing it and wondering, or as you watch it. Um, thanks to um, Kari for making it for me. So shout out to her for that. And um, I have shirts, these shirts that I, that I planned on giving my um, guests that um, shared their stories, the wonderful women that I've already spoken to. I have your shirts. Um, just have to link up so we can connect together and then we can go from there. Um, and I can get you your shirts and maybe we can do a little update. I have a lot of, I want to do some updates with the women that I've already um, had the pleasure of sitting down and talking to and sipping coffee with and um, having some girl chat. So anyway, moving forward, I just wanted to come on to talk about coronavirus. Now, as of right now, the, the number of deaths, um, it's 945, and I don't um, know off the top of my head the number of cases um, that's um, been positive. Of course, everyone hasn't been tested, but the video that, the, the video that preceded me talking to you should have given you those numbers globally and in the United States. So... Um, I just wanted to um, just just give my thoughts on what's happening at this time and um, how some people are reacting to it and just you know my feelings. I'm just you know saying how I feel. So um, uh, I just yeah okay. So let me just start to say um, first before we get started my cup. So I don't know if you can read it or not, but um, my daughter Am Cam gave me this cup. Um, says, Mom, no matter how hard life gets, at least you don't have ugly children. <laughs> I sure don't. So anyway, shout out to Am Cam for my cup. So I was holding on to it. She, she gave it to me a while back. But I was holding on to it until I um, did a video. So that's that. Um... But I do want to say, um, oh, also that I got this light um, from my baby. My baby got me this this, um, this this light and stand so I can be free with my hands to talk. Um, so anyway, 
back to Corona. So what I'm what I'm I, I'm, I'm having a difficult time with is um, people that don't take it seriously. People that can't seem to stay in the house um, unless you necessarily like unless it's necessary for you to go out for groceries. Um, you know, um, like doing things in your community, you know, because people are feeding um, families. I mean, I know our school is, is assisting with that. And then, of course, we have food pantries around. We have church members who's trying to come together and find out how they can help in the community. So, and, and people that still have to go to work. I mean, that, that other 50% that, that, that are at work because their job is essential to us actually being able to survive as a um, United States of America. Um, so, you know, their jobs are are that important in, 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 in this moment. So they can't be home because we need them. Um, truck drivers, um, my husband's a truck driver, so truck drivers. So you guys, you know, it's, it's people that still go to work. I am not um, having to work um, because, of course, I'm with the school and um, our kids are not there. So, uh, so you know, my part is going to the school and feeding the kids and, um, well, the families that don't have lunches doing some grab and goes. Um, that's a part of um, something that I am doing um, to go out. We were giving out Chromebooks for our students so that we could teach them remotely. Um, so it's a, it you know, it's reasons to have to be out and reasons that you could just stay home. Just stay home. Just stay in the house. If, you know, we, we can't go. Life is not the same in this moment. Your, our lives have forever changed, and in this moment, it's about survival. It's about having the least amount of um, people with coronavirus. Even though the people, the numbers are much higher as the people that are positive opposed to the people that die, but the long-term effects of this virus on someone's body, um, there, which I, I was, I was wondering what the long-term effect would be. I was thinking it, um, but they confirmed that they're seeing that if, you know, for some patients that the corona can leave damage to your lungs, um, um, heart. So it's, it's things that are, are lasting effect that, um, you know, even though they're immune to the coronavirus or that particular strand, um, their bodies um, are going to suffer some long-term effects. So that's another thing. Um, but I just wanted to touch base on the Idris Alba um, situation. Look, see, it's affecting us all. See, I, at one point, I didn't get, I wasn't getting my nails because I was so busy, but then I was like, I'm going to get my nails done. So as of late, months, 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 months ago, I've been getting my nails done on a regular basis. And of course, look at this. This, this pinky one just staying on. Look at this one. Let me show you. It's usually these two at the end. I don't know about anybody else, but they stay strong. So, anyway. But, um, so I'm just saying. Just mentioning that because I'm using my hands. But, back to the point. Um, we have to stay home and do better. That's that's just the bottom line in order for us to survive this. It, we're going to get through this, but what the results of, um, what the, how the results end up being the numbers at the final end, it's really up to us. That's, that's what I wanted to say. Now, let's just talk about the Idris Alba um, situation. Saying that, you know, celeb Cardi B talking about celebrities are being paid to um, say they have coronavirus. Listen, these people are human beings, okay? And they have an ability and a, plat a, a way to bring awareness to us, a platform because of their celebrity to tell us this information. It's everybody's body is not set up the same. Everybody is not the same. So therefore... Um, because you have your own body and your own individual um, fingerprint as 
to uh, just as a, a something that's unique for you. Like no one else has the same fingerprint as you. So your body is unique to you. So with your body being the way that it is, it may be affecting you differently. So Tom Hanks and his wife, you know, reported the basketball players that reported it. Um, you have, uh, you know, senators and, and um, people that are doctors and physicians, well, same thing, physicians and nurses and people that are reporting it just um, recently, the, the young man is, the, I can't think of the, the ball player's name, but his, his mother um, has been put in a medically induced coma because she contracted the, the coronavirus and he is broken. In comments that were mentioned, like he wasn't showing enough emotion, he was conjuring up all that he could. I could see it, the pain in his eyes. And what would be the purpose for him to just lie about his mom? It's, it's ridiculous the things that are being said, the ignorance that is being thrusted about in, in this United States of America. This is just out of control. We are seeing other countries being impacted in a very vicious way. Italy, I don't know. I, I hope they survive um, with enough. The population is definitely taking a hit because they are, they, people are dying, dying in Italy. My heart goes out to all the families that are being impacted by this horrific disease, other than the fact that all of us are at risk. But the families that have tested positive, families that have lost loved ones, my heart goes out to you. You know, because this is what it's about now. It's about love. It's about giving love, loving each other. You know, I've seen some positive things, people doing, um, singing happy birthday to um people that can't have a party, uh, sick people that are um, sick and susceptible to the um, coronavirus, they're at a higher risk to um, contract the virus. People are singing to them and visiting, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I myself have been doing TikToks, and I've never done them. I've done two uh, with my son, and it's been a time to bond and, and, and do something fun with him. Um, you know, I'm able to get back on and just express my feelings and, and talk, you know, to my my friends and extended friends and people I don't know that are my friends because you're now watching me and engaging with me and and um I appreciate it. So I'm just, you know, the Cardi B thing with ah well I can't do it. I don't know how it goes, but that's funny. That's funny and there's funny memes. And that's okay, because laughter is the best medicine. Hmm? It's the best medicine. So it's not, you know, that um, laughter means it's no, that you don't care. You're just finding a way to cope, you know, get through it, have a little laugh and, uh, about the situation. Just like if you, you know, something happens to you personally and you find a joke in something that you know is personally impacting you in a in a negative way but you found a way to to just laugh at yourself you know what i'm saying so that's just just what it is so i just want to um touch base also on the fact that the stimulus um bill has been pet, pet been passed pet passed last night i'm going to tell you guys Nancy Pelosi i have um of so much respect for her in regards to the fact that she's 80 years old, okay? She is very, very, very articulate. She gives you the points, and you can understand them clear as day. She is on point at 80. Happy birthday to um, Miss Pelosi, by the way. Um, but she just turned 80, and she said she just want to be able to hug her grandchildren. We're at this point this is something we've never, I've never seen. I've never seen it in my lifetime. I've not seen it. It's, 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 we are in a, a, a global pandemic. This is a crisis all around with the unemployment, with, um, you know, uh, 
the inability to be who you are on a normal basis. You know, people are frantic in, in taking tissue, all the tissue and all of the things out of the, the stores. It, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a very, very tough time for us. It's, and and it's, it's across the board. It's just not us. It's not just the United States. We all are fighting an enemy that we can't see. All of us, globally, that's what's happening. But we have to stay safe. When we, when we do the curbside food, we have our gloves, we have our mask on, we take our temperature. We're doing everything that we can do in that moment to be, you know, to be a person that's giving back and trying to, you know, show that love in that moment. We're trying to be as safe as possible. So, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm asking you all to please stay safe. Have your mental health together. Calm down. You want to meditate. Meditation is amazing. Meditation is amazing. Um, so meditate. If you like sage, sage your home. And I'll talk more about that because I um, I want to, you know, speak on, on, on sage. Um, I don't know if any anybody who's watching use sage for their house uh, or, or, or not, but I am going to talk about that because right now I'm, in, I'm into researching things that's going to keep us calm and, and help us cope and get through this and, and get through this alive and um and well you know so that is my rant and try to think hmm is there anything else on the if there's anything else on the subject i will definitely come back and um put it in the next video but um i did want to mention this that steps please if you're waiting on that stimulus check okay it's gonna take some time for you to get it didn't, this is not being negative. I'm not throwing any negativity in the air. I'm just saying to you, it passed last night, but don't look for it to be in your in your account next Friday. I think it's going to take some time. Now, it may not, may not be months, but I'm saying it may take some weeks for you to get it. So, um, you know, that's just what I think. You know, it's just what I think. So, anyway... Thank you for listening. Thank you for um, for subscribing. If you subscribe, if you have not, please subscribe. Press the like button. Please share. Um, thanks for having coffee with me and listening to me rant. Thank you uh, again, and um, be safe. You know, live, love, laugh, and just. Let's just come together as a community and stay safe. And, um, you know, if you can help, help people out. 